with auto-tune and without auto-tune so you guys can hear what it sounds like. We spent under the trees and in your basement. Watching the sunset and the birds. You said we could just fly away. But you had to go. You flew away from me. So there you go. The soul rushed to the place where we could find our heart. isn't anything like rocket science, it took a geophysicist to figure out how to clean up wrong notes. 20 years ago, Harold Hildebrand, who had spent nearly two decades doing seismic data research in the oil industry, started a company, Jupiter Systems. Since then, it's been renamed called Antares, that applied mathematical models and digital signal processing technology to musical applications. Its first program was used to create seamless synthesizer loops. The idea for the autotune came during lunch one day when Hildebrand was jokingly asked by the wife of a sales rep to come up with an oligotherm that might make her singing sound better. Quote, we were discussing what I should do next and she said, maybe you could make a box for me that would make my voice in tune. Unquote. Hildebrand says from his Northern California office, quote, and everybody just stared down at their lunch. Everybody knew it was impossible and was therefore a stupid idea, unquote. So, of course, he says he had to do it. Um, so, what Autotune allowed people to do is they allowed the singer to concentrate on sort of the style of the emotional content of their performance, knowing that if they happened to sing a wrong note or one was just a little off, there was a tool that could fix that and save what would otherwise be a very powerful and emotionally expressive performance. So I think the big, the biggest impact it's had on music is, you know, there, there's a sort of mythology that Autotune has allowed people who are band singers to become pop stars. Um, and, you know, there may or may not. When will your darkness try to hide and see more clearly? producer and there's actually a couple other things this does besides auto-tuning but we'll focus on just auto-tuning right now um, pretty much there's different st different sections different stages of this processor like it does mic modeling so it can make it sound like a, a more popular mic it can make your mic sound like a more popular mic and it can do auto-tuning compressing or a gate de-esser which takes a little uh, the hiss out of your signal and you can do some simple EQ um, the auto-tune pretty much was hit on, and then you hit the scale button, and you can use this rotary knob to select which key you're in. And you'll see it has two different keys for each one. That's a minor key. So the first one is always a major, and then minor. You can see it switching to MA and MI. The song we're doing today is in C major. So. Oh, you can also do chromatic, or if you hit the arrows, you can turn certain notes on and off. You can add notes to your key if you have a special key. That's pretty much it. Obviously, when the, when the product was originally designed, and still how it's used most often, is to very subtly and invisibly correct pitch problems in vocal recording. And when it's used well by an engineer, most people can't hear that it's ever being used. What impact do you think the IoT has made on music? Uh, well, I think it has improved it to a uh, degree because it allows people to correct uh, a, a, a mess up in their pitch as they're singing. Like maybe they squeaked, or maybe not so much squeaked, but. Um, they went off key a little bit, and the auto tuner helps them correct it. So, something where the tape when they were recording might have 
not wasted their time. They can salvage and use and save time in recording. Here we have the Antares computer program that anyone can buy to use offline. This is a piece of equipment that music artists will use live. They hook up their mic to the little box. Right here is the APV-1 that previously Jarrett used and explained how to use it. As you can see here is the pitch correction for the autotune and how it can fix the pitch problem. Every genre will come upon using the autotune. Doesn't matter on their genre, doesn't matter on their music preference. Just about every music artist today uses an autotune. Just like Secret Secret Dino Club, Secret Handshake, The Millionaires, Watch Out There's Ghost, Little Wayne, T-Pain, Britney Spears, MC Magic, Keisha, Hello Goodbye, Flo Rider, and Trey Songs. As you can see, these are about five to seven different types of genres. They all use the auto-tune once or several times in their song. If not, they use it throughout their whole time. They use it live and in the studio. Can you, you said earlier how you work with bands who use the auto-tune live. Can you explain how it's kind of just a little bit? Yeah, well, generally, there's, there's two types of auto-tuners. There's the one that's a real unit and it's rack mounted or I think there's even like maybe stock metal style from PC electronics or something like that. But um, so you'll have one that someone will set up a computer that they'll bring with them and they'll run a microphone to the computer through an interface um, which is also used for recording as well. And they can do the auto tuner live with their computer or they'll have a real auto tuner, um, usually a rack mounted unit such as that. And, uh, and that's that's what a lot of uh, more bigger or more well-produced electronic pop people use for a live production is the actual rack mounted unit. So you don't have to like touch it or anything? Well, like you can. Um, the, what they'll do is they'll have presets for songs based on the key of the song. Um, because there's certain notes in a, a given key. Um, so, depending on the key of the song is where you set the auto-tuner. That way, um, when it's doing its auto-tuning, um, it doesn't just pick the closest note that you tune. It picks something within that key. Even when I heard on her back like mine. I make her feel right when it's on like mine. Man, she never had a love like mine. As you have just viewed, this is how the auto tune works. It has been around since 1997 and ever since then has been a success for music artists. There are many different types and only more updated versions coming out. Now you know how your favorite artists sing so well.